That more we get together, together, together. That more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Oh, hi. Well, nice to see you again this week. What? What am I doing? Well, I'm playing with bubbles. It's so fun to blow bubbles and watch them float up, up into the sky. But when I was small, I was kind of sad to see the bubbles pop or the, the balloon accidentally slipped out of my hands and went up into the sky and never came back. But those memories uh, make me wonder what Jesus' friends were thinking when they saw him go up into the sky. Well, what do you think? Well, do you think Jesus will ever come back? I think we should ask teacher Evelyn and find out what happened after Jesus went back to the heaven. Well, are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Teacher Evelyn. Hi, boys and girls. Welcome back. It's so good to see you here today. Do you know we are going to learn about Jesus going to heaven? But before that, let me tell you something. I learned from my Bible. That's right. Did you know that Jesus stayed on earth for another 40 days after God raised him from the dead? During that time, he talked with his disciples, proving to them that he was really alive. And he kept teaching them about God and his kingdom. And Jesus really wanted his disciples to carry on his ministry after he went back to heaven. And if you don't know, that's our church mission too. That is to know Jesus personally and to carry on his ministry. That's right. That's what we are called to do as Jesus' followers. Well, if you're ready, let's turn to our Beginner's Bible, page 466. Jesus goes to heaven. Jesus had told his disciples, I gave my life so that you could be with me in heaven. I'm going there to prepare a place for you. When I come back the next time, I will take you with me. But now it was time for Jesus to leave. Jesus said, God has given me complete power over heaven and on earth. Go and tell everyone the good news. Make new disciples, baptize them, and teach them to obey my commandments. Don't ever forget, I will always be with you. Go to Jerusalem and wait there, said Jesus. The Holy Spirit will come to you and he will give you power to tell everyone about me. Now the time has come for me to go to heaven. Do not be afraid. Then Jesus went up and up and up and up towards heaven in a cloud. His disciples stared at the sky for a very, very long time. All of a sudden, two angels appeared and he asked, why are you standing there? Why are you looking at the sky? Jesus will return the same way you saw him go. Wow. Then the disciples remembered what Jesus had said. They returned to Jerusalem and waited for the Holy Spirit to come. In this story, we learned that Jesus went back to heaven to be with God. But just as his disciples saw Jesus being taken up into heaven, you know, he will come back down from heaven one day and take us with him. I'm so excited for that day because I know he lives in my heart and that one day I get to see Jesus and live with him forever in heaven. What a glorious day that will be. But for now, he wants us to be his hands and his heart to a hurting world. That's right. This world needs more of Jesus and he, they need him in their hearts too. So we need to tell 
all our friends and all our family about how much Jesus loves them. The Bible says in Matthew 28, 18 to 20, that Jesus said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. It's in the Bible. And surely I say unto you, to the very end of age. Yes, that is what Jesus calls us to do. And that is our mission here on earth. That's right. If you're ready, let's pray together. One, two, three. Fold, fold, fold your hands, fold your hands and pray. Close your eyes and bow our heads. Let's talk to God today. Father God, we just want to thank you, Lord, for reminding us, Lord, that you have called us to be your witnesses, Lord, to tell the world the good news of Jesus. And we just want to pray that, God, you teach us to be your disciples, God, that we too will have the courage and the boldness and the joy to share with the world about you. Because, God, we know that, God, you have called us to carry on your ministry here on earth, Lord. So teach us more and more of you each day so that we can be your mouth, your hands, and your heart for this hurting world. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, boys and girls, next week we are going to learn that Jesus didn't just go to heaven and leave his disciples all alone. Jesus promised to send the Holy Spirit to help them carry on his ministry on earth. I can't wait to find out more about who the Holy Spirit is. Come join me next week and we'll find out more about this story. Remember that Jesus is always with you. Take care, God bless you. Bye.